Conversion is a funny thing. It requires not only a persistence on the way, uh, on the uh, way of the converter, uh, but it takes a willingness on the way of the convert head. You know, when I was first, actually before I was thinking about a vocation, I was approached uh, by my parish priest, my pastor. And one day after Mass, he asked me if I had thought about uh, a vocation to the priesthood. And I'm uh, sorry to say that I, my first reaction was a rather uh, immature one in that I laughed in the poor man's face uh, until I realized he was serious. And I kind of got quiet and thought about it for a second. And I said, well, no, Father, I hadn't. And a few months later, my great aunt, who was a religious sister, asked me, and I wondered if there was a conspiracy afoot. And then a few months after that, my high school chaplain asked me, and that's when it kind of hit me that maybe this is something I should think about. And at first I said, no, no how, no way to this idea of priesthood, this idea of vocation to the priesthood. And it was only after a while of letting it kind of set in my heart that uh, I finally came to understand that this is what God was calling me to do. And even at that, uh, it took me a while to finally come around to that sense of vocation, that what, of who God was calling me to be, not just what he was calling me to do, but who he was calling me to be. And that's the thing about conversion, um, is the fact that uh, it brings about in the person a change, uh, but they have to be willing to do so. You know, one of my favorite paintings is uh, you've probably seen it yourself, is the painting of Jesus knocking on the door. And the door on which he is knocking doesn't have a handle on the outside, but no doubt has one on the inside, uh, for it is up to the one who, is he who hears the knocking to open the door. And that's what we do when we come to a sense of conversion. We're opening up the door to the Lord, opening up uh, by way of invitation, by way of accepting uh, a request uh, to have a relationship with the Lord. And in doing so, uh, our whole life changes. You know, when uh, Jesus challenges the chief priests and the elders of the people, uh, he helps them to recognize that uh, tax collectors and prostitutes, those who are thought of as less than, those are thought of as being on the margins of society, uh, were responding to John's call, uh, John's call of righteousness, John's call of conversion. And they responded affirmatively to that call, whereas the chief priests and the elders did not. Uh, and even after seeing the conversion of uh, those folks, the, chief pri uh, the, the uh, tax collectors and prostitutes, they still didn't come around. You know, it still was not enough for them. And even Jesus, I'm sure, in speaking to them, for many of them, it isn't enough because their hearts were so hardened uh, and they were so set in their ways. Uh, and for us as a people of faith, we cannot be so set in our ways that we do not and we cannot respond to God's call of conversion. Because no matter what our state in life, no matter where we are on our journey of faith, we can always do more. We can always go deeper. We can always uh, enhance our relationship with the Lord more uh, in a way so as to be in full relationship with the Lord or as full as is humanly possible. You know, we won't come to fullness of life in the kingdom until we get to the kingdom. Uh, that's when we receive the fullness of life. But until then, uh, we can uh, indeed, as a people of faith, come to recognize that in doing the Father's will, uh, we establish a relationship. Uh, and it may take us a while. You know, it may take us a while to come around to that. And God is a patient God. You know, God is, our God is a, a patient God who will wait us out uh, because he knows our minds and our hearts better than we know them ourselves. And so as a people of faith, let us continue to recognize those opportunities that God gives us to grow in faith and hope and in love. Let us open ourselves up to points of conversion, of changing of mind and heart, uh, so as to grow deeper in relationship with the Lord, to grow stronger in relationship with the Lord, and to always grow 
uh, in these ways so as to bring about a conversion of mind and heart in our own lives, in the lives of our brothers and sisters, and in the world.